Is KDP worth it to start in 2023? Well, this is a very hard question to answer, but I'm going to try and help you figure out if KDP is for you. So a little backstory on me. I started KDP in December 2021, and I started it because I wanted to create a high content book. And that high content book is about my journey to being diagnosed with celiac disease. So I just wanted a place to publish it where it didn't cost a lot of money. Like I wasn't going to find a publisher to publish my book. At least I didn't think so and I haven't found one yet, so that's fine. If anybody on here watching wants to publish my book like that, let me know. Um, so I created a paperback, hardcover, and ebook version from KDP and then I was like, oh my goodness, you can actually make so much money with KDP. And I watched all these different YouTubers and I was truly inspired because I really want to work for myself. I want to be an entrepreneur like that. I want to work from home. Um, like for myself, for my own online businesses. I want to have passive income. I want to travel. I want to do all these things. I want to have enough money to go out if I want to go out. I want to hop on a plane the next day and travel to the other side of the country or anything. Like I just want to have time freedom and financial freedom. So looking at KDP, I was like, this can do it for me. Well, it's not that easy. It's not that easy at all. You're not going to publish a notebook and all of a sudden be rich overnight. And I just want to get that out there before I give any sort of false hope. Um, I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer. Yes, there are those select few that do publish a book or two and they do make a lot of money or their book goes viral or something like that. But for this video, I'll be talking about majority of people with KDP. And when I say majority, I mean probably 95% of people with KDP and their journey and everything like that. So is it worth it? It's going to depend on you. For me, I think KDP is worth it to start because I think the reward is amazing. I mean, there's always going to be a risk when you use a platform that you don't actually own. You run that chance of it being shut down at any time, which would just be horrible, but that is a risk. Um, there's a few other risks, like if you Put a lot of money into ads and they're not profitable or if you pay a lot of courses or things like that but you don't need any money to start kdp it's actually a completely free platform and i really truly believe you can make sales organically because i still make sales organically i think you can use canva or other platforms that offer free versions like i really don't think you need to put money into kdp unless you want to of course if you pay for these courses pay for ads hire people to create books for you then you have the potential of making money a lot quicker. But I still think it's possible without doing all of that. So KDP, I think is easy and it's not easy at the same time. And let me kind of explain that a little bit. I think it's easy because anybody can do it for free and you can create a notebook in probably 30 minutes. But I think it's not easy because all of the amount of effort you put in, the niche, the niche research, the keywords, the description, the titles, the A plus content, everything like that takes a lot of time and it's a lot to learn. So it is easy and it's not easy at the same time. To be successful at KDP, it usually takes at least a few months. I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there that post videos and they're making $10,000 a month or their video says like, create a notebook and sell thousands or whatever. And honestly, I got sucked into those in the beginning and it really, kind of hurt my journey a little bit I feel like because I got very very discouraged I was making about five dollars a month with KDP in April 2022 so I started December 2021 and after six months I still was making not even fifty dollars a month I mean I was making I think one month I made three dollars or something I had almost a hundred books but I wasn't really doing it right and I had already spent hours and hours of time watching YouTube videos. So to me, it wasn't worth it at that time because I had put in so much time and effort and I wasn't getting that return. But where I'm at right now, I'm making around 300 to $400 a month with KDP. To me, it's worth it because a lot of that is or still organic sales and passive income. And of course, you never know what's going to happen. I can make nothing one month and I can make a lot more the next month. Like it's all going to vary. But this is really life changing for me because this pays for my car payment, this pays for my gas for the month. I mean, there's just so many things that KDP can do to be beneficial. I mean, if you got an extra $400 a month, like how would that change your life? So 
to me it's worth it now but it wasn't worth it to me before so I think if you're going to start TDP you need to kind of look at the long game like how much time and effort are you going to put into this and I mean you could be one of those one percent that make a lot of money really quickly but for a majority of people this is a journey I started December 2021 it's currently August 2023 and I'm finally now making four hundred dollars or more a month with KDP. And it's not consistent, of course, like it still varies how much I make every month. But that took me over a year and a half to do. And I have over 250 books in my dashboard and I've spent money on courses, I spent money on ads and I've spent money on programs. Now those were all my own decisions, like I didn't have to, but they truly helped me. And I still think I'm in a profit with KDP for sure, overall. And I don't run ads right now, and I have spent less than $100 on ads. And I do post all my income reports, so if you want a more detailed analysis, I have my very first income report up until whenever you're watching this currently, or right now I have my July income report up there as I'm recording this video. So if you want to get a better idea on kind of my journey that way. But whether or not TDP is worth it is such a hard question to answer because there's so many moving factors. It really come da comes down to you as a person. Are you willing to put in eight hours of work for a book to potentially not sell? And vice versa, you could put in eight hours and the book could become a bestseller, which is again, probably more like the 1% of people, but it's possible. For me, I focus a lot on organic sales and if a book will sell once or twice a month, I'm good with that because that will add up. If I have 300, 400, 500 books that sell once, that'd be 500 sales in a month, which if you set your royalty to at least $2, that's $1,000 a month. So, I mean, I think there's so much potential with KDP, but this takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort. So if you're not willing to put in the work, if you're not willing to spend hours and hours doing niche research, keyword research, creating your covers and interiors, looking at your keywords, making sure you don't do any sort of copyright or trademark, try to follow all of KDP's rules, watch YouTube videos, um, potentially do courses. And if you run ads, that's a whole nother ball game. I mean, I haven't really run ads a lot, but I did run them for the whole month of June and July. And I had two different campaigns and I was on my phone multiple times a day, checking them, making sure they're profitable, making sure that it was all good. And like I said, I'm still a beginner when it comes to ads, but it was a lot of work. So, I mean, it just depends what's worth it to you. Is it worth it to spend a few years on KDP and then have a passive income of a few hundred dollars or maybe a few thousand? Or would you rather just do something else? I mean, it's all going to come down to what you actually want to do. So if you're not passionate about KDP or about creating some sort of content, books, things like that, then I probably wouldn't recommend it for you. But of course you can do it anyways. I'm sure there's people out there making money. Who aren't passionate about it but i think it's definitely helpful if you like what you're doing and you like what you're creating and to me it is worth it although i have considered quitting multiple times like i'm not even sure how many times because it does get very frustrating and it can be disheartening when you watch other youtubers and they're making all this money and you're like wow like i have had zero sales and i'm not even making ten dollars a month and it's hard to look at that but you have to remember that majority of the people on youtube like they're such a small percent that are creating content about kdp i mean there are probably millions i mean if not millions at least thousands of different publishers on kdp and the amount of those that are on youtube i'm not sure the exact numbers but it's probably a very small percentage that have a youtube channel and the accounts that have a very well-known youtube channel like 10,000 plus subscribers probably are already making a lot of money. And I watch a few of those and some of them are amazing, obviously. And there's a f few that I think do a lot of clickbait and I'm not a huge fan of that. I'm not gonna call anybody out, but just keep that in mind that the videos you watch on YouTube, they may be from people who are already making a lot of money. And I'm sure they did work very hard to do that, but it can be really discouraging. So that's kind of another reason why I started my own YouTube channel because it was hard to see somebody else's journey where they were already making thousands after a month or two. And everybody's journey is different and I'm so happy for those that are doing super well with KDP. And now that I'm starting to hopefully gain some traction, I'm making over $400 a month, some people might find my videos discouraging. And I totally understand and I get where you're coming from because when I was making $3 a month, I got super upset if I saw someone else 
was doing it the same amount of time as me or even for shorter time and they were making more money but everyone's journey is going to be different i did not make over a hundred dollars a month with kdp until about six months or so into the business so just keep that in mind and everyone's journey is different but if i had quit before when i was making three four five dollars a month or less than ten dollars a month i wouldn't be where i'm at now where i've made over four hundred dollars a month so you really need to decide for yourself if it's worth it you need to look at all the different angles and things like that because this is not something where you're going to get rich quick it's not something where you're just going to be making thousands right away unless you're that one percent this is something that's going to take a lot of hard work time and effort and i think if you're willing to be consistent and follow the process that you will be successful but you need to decide for yourself in the beginning if this is something that you want to do so I hope this was helpful. I hope it helped you decide if KDP is worth it to you. And I'd love to know how your KDP journey is going. If you did decide to start or if you have any questions, please feel free to comment them below. Thank you so much for watching and listening. I hope that you have a great day.